And when we're back again, we're going to finish building this BioClarity page uh, using this slideshow, this four image slideshow here. Um, as you can see, it just rotates through. And there we are. I've saved a selection of these and we'll put those in just so you get the, the practical skills to be able to build that yourself. Um, while since the previous video, I've gone ahead and adjusted, you know, our text colors and our button colors and some of the alignment, things like that. Um, but most of it uh, from the previous video, you knew that I was going to be adjusting that off screen. So that's fine. So let's go ahead, start building this slide so slideshow section. First thing to do, click on your block. We want to get their logo in there. Okay, so select the image. Um, do I have the logo? Oh, yeah, here it is. Okay. I don't know if this is the logo for the company or just a little design that they've come up with, but that's fine. Okay, it's come up massive here when I saved it. Obviously, we'll need to change that. Mini, that looks about right. Okay, of course, when we see it outside of the page editor, it's going to look a little bit bigger. So, okay, our heading, follow us. Cool. Monserrat, let's uh, add some padding to this block on the bottom. That's way too close. Okay, maybe even 1%, that should be fine. Okay, was it black text there? It's a little like off gray, but we'll leave that for now. Let's focus on the slideshow, okay? So first thing is I've added, I can add or remove how many slides I have the same as any other one. I can just do them here, right? This particular slideshow appears to have three by four, so we have 12 slides total. So we just need to add, we need to basically double what we have now. Each time you hit add, it's gonna add a new one at the bottom. And that's fine. For these ones, they don't have any text, like we don't need to title these or anything like that. So let's just start adding our images, okay? So uh, general, go up to the content. My only concern here is that they're all going to be the correct size. That's sometimes an issue, but uh, let's hope for the best here. Uh, I'll start putting some in here, okay? Okay, very nice. So here's where we run into a little bit of an issue. As you can see, some of the images are taller than the others. We can actually just adjust the height of the entire slideshow. Okay, let's try maybe a 340. Still a little bit too big. Let's try maybe a 300. Okay, 300. Still a tad too big, 290. Oh, we're getting there, 280. Yeah, that looks fine. Then we can choose each image, make sure that they're correctly aligned. Let's find this lady. So that one looks okay. Yeah, this one's okay. Uh, this one, we no longer see the legs. So let's play with the, uh, where is that photo? Ah, here it is. So it looks like we see the legs. So let's see if we can't align that a little bit. Move it to the top, bottom. Looks like we won't be able to. Let me see here. Yeah, that's frustrating. So let me let me have a look here. Let me try resaving this. It may the only option may be just to actually crop the image and then re-upload it. Let's have a look. I'm just going to re-upload it and see what we get here. Uh, it was this one. Yeah, nothing's changed. So if you run into this problem, 
you'll just have to run some basic uh, image editing software and crop them to the same size. You can use something like canva.com uh, to give specific dimensions and you can actually choose the positioning. Uh, we won't get into that for now. Just try to get this to look as nice as we can. Let's get this girl in here. See that image is even smaller <laughs> as you can see. So not very convenient here, but uh, let's use this one maybe. Now that looks better, okay? As you can see, we've got three slides. I just needed to add three more. One, two, three. And then we would have the full four images, four images, four images. Okay? So that's the slideshow. You can select each one. It's similar to the one we did for the Harry's product one, um, just that there are more displaying, right? Unfortunately, the the dimensions of the images straight off the page are a little bit wonky, so we'd have to do a little bit of editing to get it perfect, but that's okay. So let's save and publish. Take a look at what we got. There we go. Let's view the live page. Okay, first section looks good. Go. So there's where we couldn't overlap it, but it has a similar effect. I do agree that the overlapping gives it a little bit more character, but we would need some custom CSS for that. Okay, we might be able to add some padding on the right here, get this a little bit more to the center, or perhaps even reduce the size of this image. Uh, as I said, these would be YouTube videos that would pop up, but we haven't put any URLs. But just shows you how simple the function is. Just put YouTube elements in the column and then set a cover image. Okay, shop more products. That looks fine. Haven't done anything with these buttons. They're not functional, but we've gone over that in previous videos. Uh, and here's our slideshow. So, like I said, we only put the four images in, but... We would just repeat the process. I can go through these and see where all 12 sides would be. Okay. And in the last section here, as I said, these are actually images in of in and of themselves. We can't do that simply without without putting some custom code in there. So we've just got the basic quote on the end. Okay. Okay, next video we'll look into how to uh, optimize this page for mobile. I uh, look forward to that. Okay, see you in the next video. Good luck.